Have you ever get rejected in your life? You didn't get a job you wanted, someone says no to you. We all probably have experienced being rejected. It is so easy to get rejected. But my question is, when you get rejected, would you walk away and give up? Or would you try anyways? Today, I like to talk about how not to give up and finding your opportunity. My name is Natsumi Ito. I'm a co-founder of one of the clean tech startup here in Tokyo. I never thought of myself becoming an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur sounds very smart, but I am not that smart person. So how this happened? So this is the type of mentality that I have. Imagine if there's a door, you want to open that door, but in order to open that door, you need to get the code to open it, but you don't have the code. There's a description says, only experienced 40 years and above and men allowed. And if you are my situation, obviously I get rejected just by the description. But I think this way, I'm not gonna just give up because you don't know what they're actually looking for. They might be looking for someone who is very motivated or passionate or willing to take a risk. You don't know what they are actually looking for. So I would try it anyways. So here's my story. Right before I graduated college, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. Got some offer from Manhattan. Oh my God, I can go to Manhattan. That sounds so good. But the job itself, didn't really sound good to me. So I was kept searching, looking for a lot of different opportunity or, you know, potentials. One day I was on Facebook. Of course, I'm on the social media and I found this video. It was going for viral. I was like, oh my God, this is it. I want to work for this company. I looked it up and the company turned out to be a Japanese startup. I got so excited and sent them an email right away. After a couple of days, I got a reply from the CEO and I got so excited and I was imagining like, oh my God, I'm going to work at this cool company that I think their product is so cool. I can't wait, but I lost their contact. I sent him a multiple email even after that and never heard from him. Time passes. I graduate. I fly back to Japan to see my family for a couple of weeks. I realized the company that I was pushing so hard, they were in here, Tokyo, probably like an hour away from where I am. So why do I go see them? So I did. I remember going to their office and ring the bell, said, hello, this is Natsumi Ito. I would like to get a hiring interview from the CEO. And the lady response said, do you have an appointment? And I said, nope. And <laughs> she kindly told me to um, go home. It didn't make me mad. It had me kept keep going because I wanted so bad and I was trying so much, sending like so many emails. Probably like he thought that I was stalking him or something, <laughs> but I sent him an email again. It said, I went to your office you are out of the office. I would like you to meet me for the hiring interview because I'm not gonna waste your time. And I finally heard the response back from him. That's how I hire as starting as internship and eventually become a full-timer. Like this story, if I didn't kept pushing and kept trying, I probably didn't even get to work for them. And I'll probably ended up working a completely different job. And my life today will be completely different. So if you have something that you really want to try, don't give up just one time. And if you keep pushing and keep trying, the result might be completely different. And it could be a 
life-changing. So the second thing I want to talk about is finding your opportunity because in our life, we see many different things and many different information every day. We meet many different opportunity every single day. So I think we all equally have opportunity in our life. Finding your opportunity and to make it as yours is really hard. But if you kept trying really hard and talk to as many people as possible, it might be helpful and might be different. So after two years, I left my first company. It was great, but I thought it was time for me to move on because I earned so many different experiences and I wanted to do something different. And I wanted to find a technology that could help our social problem, like environmental issue. But of course, I'm not going to find the one right away because I'm not a scientist or engineer. So I had no idea what's out there or what type of thing out there. So I had to start doing many different research and talking with many different people. And I started talking to them like, I'm interested in environmental related technology or this or that or that, or that, or that. went for many different events and network with different type of people. I probably did six to nine different projects in total. I still couldn't find the one. And one day I met this guy he initially wanted me to do completely different task, but more we talk, he start telling me about this technology. And it was really hard for me to understand. I was like, what's that? Like, it sounds interesting and cool, but I don't get it. So I went home and I study, I learned more about it. And I found out that was the technology I was looking for. And I got so excited and I called him right away and said, hey, I want to bring this technology into a global scale. And he laughed at me, said, ah, if you think you can do it, okay, like try. And I knew the way he said it, a lot of people already told him the same thing before. That's why he probably laughed. So I got the opportunity to try. And I got so excited, but at the same time, that was a lot of pressure. What if I don't do this? What if I fail? What if I, like a lot of the what if and the negative thoughts came down to me. But I realized if I'm negative and if I start thinking I'm not going to achieve it, I'm not going to achieve it. So I have to believe in myself that I can make this happen. So I told myself, I got this. I can make this happen. And fast forward, I did what I said. And everyone and start looking at me, she can actually do it. So that was the first time the way people look at me changed and I got my opportunity on my own. So like this story, if you have something that you really want to try, do not give up just one time or two time failure or rejection and keep pushing and keep trying because if you keep doing that the result might be completely different and it might be a life changing and when you meet the opportunity do not be scared and believe in yourself trust yourself because at the end of the day the only person you can trust is yourself i hope you will start doing it from today <laughs>